What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. So if you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. We are out here in the shop today. I just took off the mower blades on my mower. I have three of them and we're gonna sharpen them today. So um, we'll go over exactly how I, how I sharpen them and what my theory is on them and everybody else can argue with me in the comments. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're not going to argue about how many times you can uh, sharpen a, a mower blade. I think you can sharpen it quite a bit. I wouldn't get past the halfway mark on my blade, that's just me. So uh, if you're struggling with how to get a, a mower blade off, um, there are tons of different ways to get a mower blade off the mower. Uh, just using a regular socket and ratchet usually does the trick and just holding the blade uh, will get you from, you know, anything that you are you know, trying to do, you can usually get away with that. Um, I use an impact gun with just air and impact. Uh, people use cordless stuff and all that. So that's not really what my video is about. It's all about gr um, grinding them down and cleaning them up. So what I use on my DeWalt grinder is some of these DeWalt flap wheels. Um, they're basically like sanding discs. Uh, it's called metal blending. Um, th this is a 60 grit. I think I also have some 80 grits. Uh, these are you pick these up for about four or five bucks a piece uh, and they last you a long time even when they're even when they're dull uh, where, where they're kind of smooth to the touch they're still doing a lot of damage with that you know five six thousand rpms whatever the the angle grinder runs at so the DeWalt grinder that I have I'll put a link of everything I'm using in the video in the description below if you want to check it out I usually just have these delivered to the house uh, just because you know, I always, for some reason, every time I go to Home Depot, I will forget that I need these and I will always leave them behind. So I just go ahead and, and put them on order and they show up to the house in a couple days. It's quite convenient. So there's real no method to the madness. Uh, you don't want to take off excessive metal, but you at least want to get it sharp to the touch. Um, some people will say just, just, uh, just to a dull edge. Um, I sharpen them to where they're sharp on one side. Uh, and, and just keep with the same bevel every single time. So I'll uh, <clears throat> do a couple passes with this and then we'll go uh, check out how I balance them. <clears throat> All right, I just went ahead and did that pass here. I just wanted to show you, I stay with the exact same bevel. I don't try to make it any more aggressive or any more shallow, um, I just keep uh, in with the same bevel. So as you can see, I don't take any more material off. I keep it right about the same. And then I just make sure that all along the edge that it's, uh, it's a little bit sharp when it comes to my, uh, you know, just running my thumb across it. Now, you're not, you're not gonna wanna get this super, super sharp. All that's gonna do is dull out very, very quickly. You hit something with them and they're just gonna nick apart. So uh, that's how I sharpen that up. Let's do the other side and then I'll show you how I balance. Basically, there are so many different things that you can use to balance mower blades. Um, they even have some uh, balancers that are $100, $200 that you can buy. Um, I simply use a drywall screw with a shank on a smooth shank out on the end. So I set my blade on top of that and see how it hangs. So if it droops on one side, that means that this side, one, whatever side it droops on, means that side is heavier, so you need to balance it out. Um, that one's a pretty darn level. I think that I'd need to take just a little bit more material off this side, and we'll see what it does. That's probably a matter of... All right, so now I just took a little bit of this grass material off here that's just been beaten onto there. Um, you can clean all that stuff up if you want, but there it shows a perfectly balanced blade. So you can you can turn it over and do it with the other side of the blade as well if you think, you know, you don't want to, uh, you know, be biased to one side. Um, that it's it's as easy as that. So anytime you have rotating mass, you need to make sure it's balanced, or you're going to get a heck of a wobble. So I think that's a pretty darn good balanced blade. I didn't have to do much to it. And that's how I balance my blades. 
All right guys, so that was a very quick down and dirty video on how to sharpen mower blades and how to balance them and how I do it. Um, it's always up to interpretation. Everybody's got an opinion about something. If you like my content, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if that's what you're into and uh, give me some feedback in the comments. I'd love to talk with you. So as always, we'll see you guys next video.